Hammersad Police, how can I help? I think I've been a victim of fraud and I don't know what to do. OK, um, can I take your first name then please and you can, you can tell me a bit more about what's happened? Um, my name's I met a man through Viewbug. He said he was a soldier in the UN. He told me he was a widower, um, that his wife and daughter had been killed and he was trying to get back to his son in America. I felt so sorry for him. We're both widowers and I couldn't completely understand how he felt. God bless you, OK. Well, th this isn't your fault. Um, we're going to get to the bottom of it. What, what has he asked you to do specifically then? Have, have you given him any money? I just, just feel like it's my fault. I just feel so stupid. But, yeah, yeah, I, I've given him some money. Um, he asked me for funds to buy him out of his contract. Just wanted to help him get back to his son. OK, and, and how much has he taken? He basically talked me into selling my house and I was really thinking about it. And then all of a sudden, something just clicked in, inside my head. All right, thanks. So you've, you've done the right thing and we'll get to the bottom of this. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good morning, you three to side Police. How can I help? I think I've been a victim of fraud. They've taken well over 13,000 from me. Okay, can you tell me exactly what's happened? So I met somebody on Plenty of Fish. He told me that he works um, on the rigs off Aberdeen. He sent me loads of photos. Uh, we've been FaceTiming. I just assumed he was completely genuine. Don't worry about it. It is more common than you think. What happened next? How did he ask you to send the money? Basically, he started telling me about all these problems that he was having at work. He just kept asking me for more money, and the amounts were just getting bigger and bigger. The money that I've sent him has been sent over to his work colleague. He was just begging and pleading me to do it. I just wanted to help him. And it just made me believe that he actually cared about me from the things he was saying. None of this is your fault. These people can be really manipulative about how they go about doing things. I, I don't even know his real name. I just have no idea who I've really been speaking to. He's just conned me. Whether it be romance, online banking or identity theft, there are 100 fraud victims in our area each week. The Economic Crime Unit have a mission to prevent, disrupt and protect our people. They tell you things that you'd expect your loved ones to say. They make you believe that you are everything to them. It's how easy they can talk you into to doing something, to use somebody's emotions against them. When you're in a vulnerable position, you've nobody else. When you are at the lowest point, they're destroying people's lives. 